Why don't we change our minds when we get strong evidence against our views? Isn't that strange? Wouldn't our ancestors have survived better if they focused on the accuracy of their beliefs? If there's a tiger near the watering hole, it's very important that you know there's a tiger near the watering hole so you don't get eaten. Wouldn't we be better off if our beliefs were always accurate? Well, I think the word better is really central here because there's multiple ways that our beliefs could be better. The first way is that our beliefs could be accurate. And that is important. It does help us survive and thrive. But the second way our beliefs could be better is that they could feel good. We're designed to seek pleasure and avoid pain. And so one reason our beliefs are not always accuracy seeking is because they seek pleasure or seek the avoidance of pain. A third way our beliefs could be better is that they can be helpful to us. Sometimes believing something that's not true can help us achieve our goals or can make us closer to other people. So we see that there's actually three ways a belief can be better. It can be more accurate, it can be more pleasurable, or it can benefit us more in the long term. Let's take a look at some examples to illustrate these three factors that can influence what we believe. Suppose you're on the way to a wedding and you're feeling very stressed about it because you're running late. And then you get some evidence that you're actually going the wrong direction. In this case, it's very likely that you're gonna quickly update your beliefs to be more accurate. Because you're focused on getting to the wedding, you really want to know whether you're heading in the right direction. On the other hand, suppose that someone gives you a nice compliment, but there's some evidence they might be being facetious. Well, it feels a lot better to believe they're being honest in their compliment than to believe they're being facetious. But the pleasure-seeking part of our brain may dismiss this evidence because it feels much better to believe the compliment than to think that it's not really true. Let's consider a third example. Suppose that you're in a long-term, happy, stable, monogamous relationship, but you have a little bit of a crush on one of your friends. And you've noticed recently that they've been sending heart emojis sometimes when they communicate with you. Now, if you're just focused on accuracy, this might be evidence that they have a crush on you too. Furthermore, the idea of them having a crush is pleasurable to you instantly. But the problem is there may be a long-term cost to believing they have a crush on you it could actually help to stabilize your very happy existing relationship that you don't want to end. So here, accuracy and instantaneous pleasure may be at odds with what's actually good for you long term. So now we start to understand the mystery of why we don't always seek accuracy. It's because there can be other goals our brains have that are also important to us, such as instantaneous pleasure and avoidance of pain and long-term benefit. And while accuracy, pleasure, and benefit often point in the same direction, Sometimes they come out of alignment, and sometimes pleasure or benefit will override our desire for accuracy. While I believe that all of us are influenced by all three of these forces, some of us orient much more towards one than the others. For instance, some people really prioritize accuracy. We might call these people truth seekers. Others are much more focused on how they feel at any given moment. We might call these epistemic pain avoiders. And finally, some people are really focused on whether their beliefs are useful whether they provide a long-term benefit, and we might call these epistemic pragmatists. While a pretty strong argument can be made for being a truth seeker or an epistemic pragmatist, I think there's a lot of problems with being an epistemic pain avoider. Additionally, if you're very focused on how good a belief feels, it can lead you to take very short-sighted actions and reject information that's critical for your own flourishing. For instance, it feels bad to believe you're addicted to something, so if you are addicted, you may not be willing to accept it, and this may have very long-term consequences. I believe this framework helps explain some mysterious aspects of human behavior. Have you ever noticed how people have so much trouble thinking about evidence properly when it comes to politics? For instance, a die-hard Trump supporter or die-hard Biden supporter is gonna have a lot of trouble accepting any evidence that their candidate has serious flaws. Sometimes they'll dismiss the evidence outright, other times they'll simply reinterpret it or rationalize it so they don't have to change their mind. So how does this framework explain this political behavior? Well, in politics, people are often not seeking accurate beliefs. They're seeking the long-term benefit of their beliefs. They're trying to feel closer to their group. They're trying to not have conflicting beliefs with the people all around them. Or consider the case of a person who believes that it's really wrong to harm animals and that animals often suffer in factory farms. They'll often be very quick to rationalize their behavior They'll say, well, the animal's already dead, so it doesn't matter. Or I'm sure that the meat that I'm purchasing is not at those farms that are causing the suffering. They're not seeking accuracy. They're seeking the avoidance of the instant pain from believing you've done something wrong. And they're seeking the long-term benefit of being able to continue to eat meat that they enjoy. So to recap, if you're confused about why it seems that people often don't seek accuracy, consider that there are really three motivations to believe. We do seek accuracy, 
but we also seek pleasure in the avoidance of pain, and we seek the long-term benefit of our beliefs. These forces sometimes contradict each other, which is why we're often not accuracy-seeking creatures. So the next time you're confused about why people aren't properly taking into account evidence, consider these three motivations to believe. Yes, our brains care about accuracy, but they also care about instantaneous pleasure and avoidance of pain. And they care about the long-term benefits of our belief. We're not just accuracy-seeking creatures.